Guys, I'm hoping this little tip will help you fish plastic better. I'm throwing a very small finesse worm. This is a Yamasinko 4 inch worm on a very small head, a 1 15th ounce head. I'm just going to come out and say it. Most of the people I fish with are terrible plastic fishermen. They don't really have a clue how to use plastic to catch fish, how it's supposed to be used, how to manage their gear. I think I got a bite. Hang on. I'll let it get to the bottom. Yeah, this is, feels just like a bite. Yeah, there it is. Got, got rudely interrupted in my little plastic tutorial. Right, nice bite. Third really nice fish I've caught in this spot. But I want to show you guys what's the key to success. And it, it reminds, what I'm doing reminds me of how few people I see on my boat that actually, good gracious, it's a strong fish, how few people actually know how to fish plastic. Man, this is a big old strong fish. Get in here, girl. All right, back in action with Plastic 101. Most people that I fish really cannot fish plastic at all. Key to my success on that bite we just got. When my lure lands, I'm not reeling. I'm not lifting my rod up. I'm letting the lure sink. Let that sink in. Let the lure sink. Fish with so many people that as soon as it lands, they're swimming in it. It's not really a creature bait or a crawdad or something on the bottom. They're just swimming it through the water like a spinner bait. I let my lure get to the bottom. Then I check it to see if a fish is on it. Here's the biggest mistake people make is they have their hands on the reel way too much and they're using the reel fish plastic with your rod tip fish it with your rod tip do not swim it through the water with your reel now yes there are times when fish are aggressive and they'll chase anything and you can get away with that day in and day out a guy a pro who fishes plastic is fishing it the way i am letting it get to the bottom figuring out what speed what tempo what rhythm what cadence what lift what drop the fish like and what they'll react to. I want to start on the bottom and I'm just twitching the rod tip. I'm not using my reel. The only time I use my reel now is time to take in some slack. So I took in some slack. Boom, my hand's off the reel. I'm fishing it with the rod tip. It's really not rocket science. What your rod is doing is basically what the lure is doing. My rod's moving about two inches. My lure's coming up and going right back on the bottom. Let it sit on the bottom. I know I'm on the bottom. I'm fishing slack. I'm fishing patiently. I'm fishing on the bottom. Um, this particular cast is going to be a 90 second, maybe two minutes, to fish the lure the way I want to, barely moving. I've got some current in there too that's pushing it from left to right. Otherwise, I might actually be fishing this cast a little longer. But my strike zone is back in there. So when you're out of the strike zone, guys, watch Woo Dave's video. He has excellent instruction videos on fishing plastic. When I'm out of that strike zone, I get it back in and I put the lure back in what I think is a strike zone. It landed, my rod stayed down. It's sinking, it's sinking, it's sinking. Right about now, it's on the bottom. So I just start some very gentle lifts with the rod tip. My strike zone is right in there. So once my lure's out of there, I'm pulling it out and throwing it back in. Like Wu points out, when my lure is in the strike zone, it's moving slowly. The only time it's moving fast is when I'm reeling it back in to make another cast. It's moving slowly. Guys, practice in a pond or somewhere where you can get on some good largemouth bites. Practice plastic fishing, keeping your hands off of the reel, and you will see more success.